Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and today uh, I want to show you how to get uh, Siri like functionality on your regular iPhone 4. Now, this isn't Siri, obviously, but it'll give you similar functionality and uh, basically let you do the same thing with uh, just as much ease. The app is called Vlingo. I have to give credit actually to CC Dub1 from YouTube. He's the one that actually gave me um, the idea to do this video. He suggested I do a video on it. So I told him I would and here we are doing the video on Vlingo. And it's a free app. It's available in the App Store. Uh, it's completely free and it'll give you Siri-like functionality. So I'm going to open up the app here and the first thing that you'll see is uh, press and speak. Now in order to use this app, uh, off the bat you do have to press that button and talk into it. But you can actually set it up in here so that it auto listens. So check it out now. Uh, I just set it for auto listen. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to talk to send a text. Text Dom. Hey, what's up? Thinking. And I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Dom. Hey, what's up? There you go. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty awesome, too, actually. And if you click on apps right here, it'll show you all the different functionalities that you can use with it. You can email with it, SMS with it. You can get maps. You can search the web. You can update uh, Facebook and Twitter. You can voice dial. Check this out. Update Twitter. Hey, what's up, guys? See, there you go, update on Twitter. And then you can also, you can add in different, uh, you can add in Facebook or Twitter on here and uh, be able to update either one of those. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, but uh, check this out. We also have voice dial, let's try that real quick. Voice dial, Jamie. So see, check it out, and it'll auto dial somebody. Um, so it's, it's great when you're in the car, it's, uh, I mean, it's great when you're not in the car too. So if you just uh, if you just go in here and you say, check it out, Maps, Starbucks. It's gonna show me where Starbucks is. Look at that! Oh my God! There's so many Starbucks. Is that a big surprise to you guys? Not really, but uh, it's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's. Let's see here, um, and then obviously it takes you to the native apps here, and see that's why I don't have it set to auto uh, to auto listen when I open it, because then sometimes it'll do that. But it's pretty cool, and honestly, it's pretty accurate. Google flying monkeys. Let's see what this one does. Look at that flying monkeys. All right, so. If the only thing the only thing about this is it doesn't talk to you like Siri does, but it'll give you almost the same functionality and uh, you don't need an iPhone 4s for it uh, so it's pretty cool um, if you guys like this please thumb up and comment below down there and subscribe in this button right here and our Twitter link is right here and our Facebook so uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, once again, this is Dom from MacMixing.com. I hope this was helpful and have a good day.